And this Thursday night, Animal Planet debuts a special called Glory Hounds, which documents the way military working dogs are changing the face of warfare. Now, embedded camera crews follow dogs and their military handlers through some of the most dangerous parts of Afghanistan as they hunt down insurgents and sniff out improvised explosive devices. Now, cameras were rolling when Air Force Staff Sergeant Len Anderson and his canine partner, Aza, were targeted by an insurgent and attacked with an IED. Watch this. Is that motorcycle? Definitely a scout. Think so? No, I know so. seeing Sergeant Anderson's dog, and he was right next to me. So I grabbed a hold of the dog, and I looked back, and I saw quite a few people, including the medics back there, working on Sergeant Anderson. Hey, I need at least two more guys to help carry. All right, so I actually picked Lynn up. There was a mud road that went across into the field they had secured for an LZ. And so we went down through the creek. And it took eight guys to get him through there and get him up this hill. And it got him up into the field. Now, Staff Sergeant Anderson has been recuperating from his injuries in San Antonio, and Aza miraculously did not get hurt. And after going through a lot of red tape, Aza's adoption has finally been made official, and they both join us now. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having me, sir. Hey, Aza, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, cute dog. Now, I, w I was asking you while we were playing that, do you remember this device going off? And you said you do remember the explosion. Uh, I actually don't remember anything from the day. But the actual explosion itself, the, the loud ping and the suspense in the air is what it felt like. Is That's about all I remember. And the, uh, the cameraman, he, we, we kind of knew each other from the get-go. And, uh, you know, he tried to calm me down with his, with his words, and I remember that. That's about it. How, um, how hard is it to watch that video? Uh, well, I'm here today, so, you know, it, it's a reality that I knew I was getting myself into once I went over there. Uh, you know, it's what I signed up to do, like I said, on the on the show and uh, you know I'm still here so it's not not as hard you were supposed to stay on base but why and then you decide you made the decision to go out why uh, well basically I was replacing a kennel master uh, which means you know you're, you're administratively in charge of the guys there and you're responsible for tasking and whatnot well he still had a uh, about another month you know left uh, in country so I decided to utilize that time as the best I could, you know, go out, uh, see the lay of the land, and that way when I got the new guys, you know, the new guys in uh, that were asking questions about the, you know, the lay of the land, what's going on in the area, rather than them trying to piece together a blank puzzle, I could give them, you know, on the ground feedback. How, tell us about the extent of your injuries. Obviously, it, you, you've lost fingers, and what else? I have. I have uh, suffered deep tissue damage to both my legs, yeah. um, where the swelling got so bad they had to cut through my muscles. Uh, I had a vein replaced from my, my sh left shoulder into my left leg. Uh, they originally thought they were going to have to amputate, but you know that, that got taken off the table as I healed. Uh, suffered an abdomen wound, uh, broken eye socket, uh, broken left arm, and uh, six finger amputations. Wow. And then uh, my left hand was pretty much useless, so I decided to take an, uh, do an elective amputation to the left hand. You did, you did decide, you made that decision? Yes, sir. Um, tell us about Aza and the story. How long was, uh, was Aza your partner? Uh, me and Aza have been together about a year and a half now. Um, she had been with me about a year before we had, we had gotten over in country. Mm -hmm. uh, we meshed right off the bat. She's an easygoing, loving dog. I can see that she's resting now. Oh, she's, she's a sweetheart. Yeah. But, um, you know, she's always been a turn-on, turn-off type dog. I've always been able to, you know, do the business, and then afterwards, she's fine. Like, if you gave her a, a word now, she would attack me? Yes, sir. I'd rip my... What would she do? Well, I, you know, you're not being very aggressive and hostile right now, so she would probably look around and, and try to, you know, pinpoint someone who's being hostile and put her on alert. And she would make a move. So there's an alert word, and then there's an attack word? Exactly. And so what's the alert word? Uh, watch. Yeah. 
She, there's a, there's a little bit more asleep. added into it. She's, <laughs> so, she's but retired. She's you, good. You have to put some emphasis in the... Uh, you do. You, you, uh, the dogs read off cues, off subtle cues of the human being. And so now you, you were able to adopt it, but that's not easy to do, right? That's that took uh, a while. There's certain paperwork that has to go through the DOD. Um, you know, there's certain processes, just like anything else in the military. So once we, once we went through the process and talked to the veterinarian and everything got approved, uh, which took a little bit, and then she eventually came home. And, well, we're glad you're home safe. Yes, you're sir. a real hero and a uh, great dog. And uh, it, that's, it shows how tough all the military that are out there fighting, the, the days that they have to deal with. That's what so. it's about, honestly, it's sir. Hard. It's not about me now. It's about them getting them home safe. Yeah. That's, that's they go absolutely through the, right. the grind. Thank you for being here. Yes, it's an sir. honor to meet Thank you. you. Aza? Don't say watch, whatever you do. <laughs> All right, and uh, Glory Hounds, by the way, premieres Thursday night, 8 p.m., Animal Planet.